uh, we are here on the, uh, the research platform called OSEARCH, uh, trying to catch and sample white sharks. And our goal is to put very co various kinds of tags on them, take tissue samples, and learn about their biology over the course of the next month. of Monomoy Island, uh, south of Chatham, Massachusetts, Cape Cod. Just in shore of us, uh, a lot closer to shore, is Chris Fisher on a smaller fishing vessel, and he's uh, he spotted a white shark uh, swimming around the boat. So we're hoping he can uh, he can catch it, bring it back here, and we can sample it. You know, we think of sharks as being hungry. Don't tell, tell us. Oh. Folks don't really know sharks. What does that mean? Oh yeah, I mean they do. It is the totally goofy kind of perception that uh, I think fiction has created. These sharks come in, and people think they just come in and they're mindless eaters. I think what we're seeing here are some of the most finicky fish of any species we've ever tried to catch of any type. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be perfect, or it's no chance. And they're here to probably hunt the seals, and what we have is not what they're looking for, really. That's not what they travel all that way. Yeah. So we have to try to get them off of that and off of us. And right now it's not, it's not happening. Yeah. What kind of bait did you present to the, um, I'm calling it the 14 plusser? Bluefin tuna head. Uh, yeah, we didn't even really get a We didn't ever to get to present get it. On this one. It was over before it started, yeah. but we had a bluefin yeah, tuna head ready. So you had one this morning around 10.40 a.m., a 14-footer about. And that 14-footer was near the surface? It, it, oh, it yeah. may have been bigger than that, too, but we could eat. 14 well, we plus. 14 yeah. plus. Uh, what kind of, uh, how long was it around the boat? 90 seconds. One minute. Less, yeah. One minute. One minute. 30. 45. Did it come by from? Came, uh, came right, come came right the up the back. And uh, we had like a uh, buoy back there bouncing around and looked up at the buoy, saw the buoy, we tugged on it. It was almost as if it saw us and it just bugged out. And you, then we saw it finning away and it just kept going. Uh, sunny sky is good for great white shark fishing, uh, bad or it doesn't really matter? Uh, I think low light levels are probably better. You know, they like that morning and evening low light, so I would think that, you know, overcast would be more like that than bright blue sky. Yeah. I don't know if I was a white shark and there was bright blue sky, I would feel really exposed, like people could see me. Yeah. But if it was overcast and murky and low light, I would feel stealthier and more comfortable at the surface. <laughs> I don't know. It's logical, yes, yeah. logical, you know, evolutionary as well. Like, you know, if you think about the white shark that's up all the time, high and dry in the sunny days, back in the day when they were killing them because they were eating their whales or they were afraid of them, those got taken first. The ones that were deeper and more, you know, nervous didn't. And now maybe we're dealing with their offspring. Thanks, guys.